In the next 90 seconds, I'm going to give you an easy to use, simple formula to calculate the value of pain and suffering in a personal injury lawsuit. I've been practicing law for 25 years. I was taught this formula right out of law school and it's used by thousands of lawyers across the country on a daily basis. The formula is very simple, straightforward, and I'm sure that you'll be able to use it. When I'm done with that though, I do encourage you to keep watching because there are four different issues I want to make sure that you're aware of before you just apply that formula as a matter of course. The formula is simple. You take your total amount of all of your medical bills from all of your treatment, not just your co-pays and deductibles, but the total amount of the bill, including what the insurance paid. You multiply that number by three, we call it three times meds, and then you add to that your out-of-pocket wage loss. How much time did you miss from work and what was the value of your services? So for example, if your medical bills were $2,500, you multiply by three is $7,500. If you had $500 and missed work, then it's $7,500 plus the $500 for an $8,000 settlement value. The first problem with using a simple formula like that is that not all medical treatment is the same. If you went to 20 painful physical therapy visits and they were $100 each, then you had $2,000 in medical bills and your case would theoretically under the formula be worth $6,000. You contrast that with somebody else that went to one single MRI visit, had the MRI done for $2,500 and it came back negative, then theoretically that person's case under the formula is worth $7,500. Those cases are nowhere worth the same, and that's one of the problems of applying a formula. A second problem with the formula is that not all medical costs are the same. For example, if somebody who's on Medi-Cal went and had an MRI done, the Medi-Cal reimbursement rate for an MRI is approximately $300. So three times medical bills would mean their case is worth $900. If the exact same person went and did an MRI but they did a private pay, they should expect to pay closer to $5,000 for those, that MRI. So their case theoretically is worth $15,000. So the two people with the exact same injury, the exact same results, you would settle under the formula for $900 for one or $15,000 for the other. That's obviously another reason why formulas don't work. The third problem about applying a formula like that is that not all injuries resolve at the same time. Someone that has 20 physical therapy visits and at the end of the physical therapy is completely fine, their case value is much different than someone that has 20 physical therapy visits but at the end of it still has problems. A great example of that is I had a client many years ago that had a major brain injury and unfortunately they weren't able to treat it. And as a result, he had about $15,000 in medical bills but suffered from this brain injury for the rest of his life, his case was worth millions of dollars contrasted with just $45,000. The fourth problem of applying a simple formula is that not all injuries have the same impact on people. For example, if you've got a two inch scar on your cheek and you're a young person starting a career out in sales, or maybe you're a TV personality, that two inch scar could be huge in your career. You contrast that with a 65-year-old salty farmer getting ready to retire, that two-inch scar really has no major impact on their career or their life. That's one of the problems of applying a simple formula is it doesn't take into account context of the injury. As I promised, I gave you a simple formula for calculating pain and suffering in a personal injury lawsuit. That formula is used by thousands of lawyers across the country and I'll never use it. There are problems with the formula in terms of the context of the injuries, with the value of the medical bills and things of that nature. If you want a simple formula, that's it. However, I really caution you against following just pure math. My name again is Matt Eason. I'm a personal injury attorney in Sacramento, California. If you have any questions about your case, I hope you'll consider reaching out to us. I'm with the law firm of Easton and Tamarini. We're located at 1234 H Street, Sacramento, California, 95814. You can find us on the web at www.capcitylaw.com or call us at area code 916-438-1819. And I wish you all the best.